Hi guys and welcome back to another new video and I'm sorry for the lack of uploading during this international break I just haven't had any idea what to make because international break is that boring but I'm starting a new series I'm going to be looking at four different positions and five players from each one who Manchester United should sign um, in this Jan summer transfer window not January um, they can be as realistic unrealistic as they like they're just the five players that I think um, could suit United. Um, <clears throat> positions. Uh, as you can tell by the title of this one, I'm doing CDMs today. Tomorrow will be the centre backs, then the right wingers, and then ending off as the striker position. I've also got more ideas coming along the way after the series, uh, but we'll get into CDMs right now. So, first uh, CDM is a bit of an unrealistic one, but Joshua Kimmich, uh, in my opinion, he is currently the best midfielder in the world, definitely the best CDM in the world. Um, obviously, we probably won't sign him, but he would suit United uh, miles, miles, miles. I don't know why I said that, but he's just absolutely blowing my mind away. <laughs> he's got the same amount of assists as Messi the, uh, last year, and he played like few lesser games on him, and that is incredible. So um, moving on here really quickly, Kimmich is the first one. And the second one is Wilfred and Didi. Now, the Leicester City and Nigerian CDM is currently crushing it alongside Yuri Tielemans with the Foxes. Of course, they absolutely pocketed um, our midfield when they beat us 3-1 in the FA Cup. Uh, he was probably their star performer, apart from Hianacho. Um, Nigerian talent, of course, in Leicester is amazing. Um, but the one thing I am worried about if we get in Didi is Leicester might uh, charge us a bit too much, maybe 110 million they might charge us. Um, personally, I think he will be worth around 60, 70 million, even 80 million. Uh, well, it's going to be Harry Maguire flashbacks, uh, but I think he should be worth around 70, 75 million. And now on to the third option. This is my main option. I think we should go for Dennis Zakaria of Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, the stats this season have been great. Of course, Mönchengladbach have not been great in the league. They're like seventh or eighth or ninth. I don't know. I've lost a lot in the row. But of course, he scored a few goals. He scored that bullet header in the 4 2 win over Borussia Dortmund earlier on in the year. Um, personally, I think he'd be a lot cheaper than Didi. They have the same traits. They'd be a lot cheaper. I think he should be worth around 50 to 60 million, if you ask me. He's also Swiss, so um, <clears throat> a bit of a new nationality in there. And now on to the fourth one. This is a shocker, probably a bit unrealistic, but. Thomas Suchek, he can score. He's been scoring a lot of goals for West Ham and the Czech Republic. He got a hat trick against Estonia, which is amazing. Um, I've questioned this with a few other United fans. They don't think he'd suit. I think he would, though. I don't think he'd be. I think he'd be a lot more cheaper than everyone else on this list. Um, but he's been. I mean, he he can also uh, credit in goals. I mean, he scored around nine, ten goals in the league. That is four or five in the Czech Republic this season. Uh, fantastic from the West Ham midfielder. I think he'd be worth around 40 to 50 million. That's, I wouldn't pay anything more than 50 million. I'd maybe pay around 40 million for him. Uh, but yeah, that is the fourth option there, Thomas Suchek. And the final option, I was going to go with N'Golo Kante, but then it was his 30th birthday and I thought he'd start declining. So I've gone with the next best thing. It is Atletico Madrid's star midfielder it is the liverpool slayer marcos llorente now we've actually been linked with him uh, earlier on this week or last week should i say um around 68 and a half million we were linked with him um apparently uh, the stories that came out as fake but i think he would suit very well of course he gets a few derby wins over liverpool here and there hopefully and um what would i pay for him i'd probably pay around 65 million for him he's a quality midfielder he's probably in his mid-20s now um, he's still got a few years ahead of him before he'll start declining. But I pay around 65 million for him. So hopefully you liked that video. Tomorrow I'll be coming up with five centre-backs, I think, Manchester United should sign. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. I said that at the end of all my videos. And also turn on the notifications so you never miss another video. And I will see you tomorrow.